Messi, Sergio, Pedro y Abidal. Let the festivities begin. You are one of a global audience tonight of around 400 million people who are tuned in for this game. The greatest game on earth, they call it. Yeah, we've done with all the talking, the build-up to the game now, it's all about the football. I have to say, the two coaches look remarkably composed, Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. They know it's all about the football, Guardiola's kept it low-key. Tonight he's going to let his team, hopefully he let his team do the talking on the pitch. For Real Madrid, Roberts must have been tempting for Jose Marino to bring in an extra midfield player, Lasana Diara. But he's stuck with the, the pattern of play that his team have done so well with this season so far. It's attacking, it's bold, it's very unlike Jose Marino, but it will make for an open game. Well, it's the third year in a row that Real Madrid have gone into the game ahead of Barcelona in the Liga. And as Villa's on a run, is a stretch for Pepe. Iniesta, there'll be wave after wave of Barcelona attack tonight. It's a similar night to last year. They played this game on exactly the same date. And of course, it was an Ibrahimovic goal that separated the two sides. There is Iniesta, the man who scored the goal in the World Cup final. Try not to hype it up too much. But every one of those players out there has accomplished great things in their career. PK to Iniesta Villa making a move Pepe stretches again he's going to have his hands full tonight it certainly is it's going to be interesting fascinating for me Rob Real Madrid try and win the ball back will it be high at the pitch will they drop deep get numbers back behind the ball allow Barcelona possession for me I think they have to try and contend with Busquets it's going to be interesting if Benzema drops in or Meza Ozil and perhaps even Ronaldo first fan of the evening has the Barcelona fans in front of us up off their seats. The referee's done well, though, he's given an advantage to Barcelona, trying to keep things moving. Little layoff from Pedro, away by Marcelo. Scrappy defending from Real Madrid. Cool headed Peraldi Gonzalez gives the free kick to the men from Madrid. And you see the, the first thing, I'm sure many. Little one two plays, passage of plays by Barcelona. As one would expect, there's a history of bad temperedness in this game. And two players sent off in this fixture last season. Cristiano Ronaldo's got the ball, cue the booze, well handled by Valdez in very tricky, slippery conditions. His start is continued and will make for a slick surface. we we'll suit the passing game of both teams. Valdez picked up a knock there. Well, it's quite concerning for Valdez. He's uh, gone down and seems to be in some considerable pain. He seems to have sprung his shoulder. Now he's the last man they want to lose. They certainly do have an experienced goalkeeper on the bench in Pinto, but hasn't played much football in the last three or four seasons, I guess. Certainly wouldn't have played in a game of this magnitude. Oh, it was an absolute freak injury. It just appeared to collide with Pique as he went down. Yeah, Pique, uh, Ronaldo gets the crossing at the near post and he clashes into the shins of, of Gerard Pique. I don't think that's going to be too fat, bad for Victor Valdez. I'm sure it's going to take a lot more than that for him to come off the field of play in the first four minutes. Well, he's one of the veterans of this game. It's his 15th Grand Classico, Victor Valdez. He's only ever had five clean sheets in the game. That's Pinto, who is an experienced goalkeeper, but this would be the biggest game of his career if he were to come on. I'm sure that, as you say, Valdez will tough it out, though. <laughs> Here's Javi. 
Fabulous control from Alves. Benzema gets into the thrust of things. An unexpected call for the Frenchman tonight. Pedro. It is out to Marcelo, who tries to play his way out of defence and bumps into his fellow countryman, Danny Alves. Lionel Messi still awaiting his first touch of the ball with five minutes gone. That looked like a corner. Assistant didn't give it. Messi picks up and goes on his first major dribble of the evening. He certainly did look like it was a near corner goal, but Messi didn't give it up, did he? And then the ball appeared to be glued to his foot. Di Maria clearly takes, takes the ball out of play. Tenacious as ever, Messi wins it back. The ball's glued to his foot. Carvalho comes to the rescue of Real Madrid in the end. Every Real Madrid player is called onto defensive duty. Xavi stride across the six, clever free kick. It was a missed swipe from Alves. Now Messi flicks it in! Oh, wonderful attempt! Pure genius. He's in the mood. It took him a two or three minutes, didn't it, to get in the game, but he certainly has now. Alves with the cross. It's all Barcelona in the opening stage of this game. They've got another corner. Well, there's no roof on this stadium, if there was, the fans would be raising it. 97,000, screaming and shouting. If you were lucky enough to buy a ticket today on the street, it would have cost you 500 euros a pop. Benzema's header out. Abidal to Alves. Fancies a shot from distance, and he has to see his concern. Good early pressure from Barcelona, we're up there, getting into their passing game. And you see Messi curling it in off the far post almost. It's exactly what he's trying to do, beat Casillas, chip Casillas. Casillas has got no chance, Xavi Alonso is there on hand as well. Did an early glimpse of Messi there. But he worked all that attack himself, he won the corner, didn't he? And from the initial corner, shot from Alves was, was half a chance as well. And Messi nearly open the scoring. Well, it's pretty much as was forecast. Barcelona will attack, Mourinho's team will condense and absorb and try to spring the odd counter-attack with a fleet-footed Ozil and Di Maria and, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. PK. Xavi. Busquets. Not such a measured pass from Busquets. There he goes. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's drawn Puyol from his sentry post. A quadruple step over from Cristiano Ronaldo. And he loses Puyol, puts the cross in. Falls for Di Maria. A drop of the shoulder from the Argentinian. Strong block. And Real's first attack of the evening comes to Little. It was a slightly different shape from Real Madrid, but Ronaldo started out wide on the right. Di Maria wide on the left, Ronaldo in recent matches. And Gonzalo Higuain has been playing, has been playing down the cent centre of the pitch, centre of attack. And I think that's part of the defensive solution for Jose Mourinho to play Ronaldo wide. Angel Di Maria wide on the other side, try and stop the Barcelona fullbacks coming forward as much as they normally do. PK. Little layoff from Pedro to Xavi, to Pedro. Xavi to Alves. Lionel Messi. Strong arm tactics from Barcelona. Alves stopped by Marcelo. Messi picks up. Football being played at great next speed by Barcelona. Pedro. Alves. Put the ball through. Messi's onside, perfectly timed. Lays it inside. Pepe's having a very good game at centre half for Real Madrid. He yeah, read that pass from Messi really well. And Messi's movement off the ball from a standing start. He changes pace, loses anyone who's anywhere near marking him. He can find space in the most congested of areas. Chavi controlling his manner. Messi. Caressing the ball to Iniesta. He has Via out, outside. Oh, plays it inside. Great tackle, but no, he's got a shot by Chavi. Not the greatest goal you're ever going to see, but a mightily important goal for Barcelona. A huge slice of luck gives Barcelona the lead. Well, it is 
a slightly lucky goal, Rob, but to see Chevy that far advanced up the pitch, he broke the offside trap. He was fortunate, he was alert with the finish. But Real Madrid were defending deep. Talk of Barcelona keeping it low key this week. You can see the reaction from the players there when Chevy scored the delight that they can open the scoring. Iniesta, slide rule pass. Chevy just in an onside position. He gets lucky with the first touch, but he's got the awareness. He's got the ability there to beat Casillas with a deft little flick with his right foot. Opens the scoring for Barcelona. Chevy in the centre forward position. Ballet like balance from Chevy. That was magical. Now, what do Mourinho's team have about them? They've only been behind in one game this season. That was against Hercules, but as we know, they remain unbeaten. And a special one braves the rain. He was hyped up, his return to the Camp Nou. We were expecting a pig's head or something like that to be thrown onto the field, or animal body parts were confiscated before the game. But when Mourinho did come out, the reception was lukewarm for the former linguist. Messi, side down. Oh, no. Referee said that Xavi Alonso called him fairly. Benzema. Cristiano Ronaldo. Great ball inside. Ozil. Di Maria. Spots the gap. Big save by Valdez. I guess he's not hurting now. That's a big save. So soon after Barcelona have opened the scoring. Good work here from Angel Di Maria. Deflection off of Dani Alves as well. So Xabi Lonzo there. I think he gets enough of the ball against, with the tackle with Messi. Real Madrid trying to fight back. Well, that was a test of the shoulder injury for Valdez. A test that he's passed with flying colours. Brazil, the Classico debutant, puts in the corner. There's Barcelona's only debutant trying to run out. No foul again. The referee has shown his style. He's letting everything go. Well, I think it helps us, Rob, as well. With the enjoyment of the game, if he can keep it flowing. And, of course, if there are any serious challenges, bad fouls, he has to, to deal with that. Actually, offside against David Villa. And the only man making his Clasico debut tonight for Barcelona. Pepe. Ike Casillas. Alves to Busquets. Barca boxing the game in these early stages. Real Madrid can't get a kick. Lionel Messi has been a bit part player so far. Caressing the ball to David Villa, past one. Runs into a bit of a cul-de-sac, comes backwards through Busquets. Iniesta tries to play the one-two off the defender. And this is what we expect from Real Madrid, quick counter-attacking. There's a foul off the ball there. Again, good advantage given as it's at the feet of Cristiano Ronaldo. You never quite know what's going to happen. A top pass by him. That could have been a very embarrassing own goal by Abidal. And another important save by Valdez. He hasn't put his hand in the way that, Jerry. Well, he's had to, and Real Madrid looked really dangerous on the counter-attack, Rob. It's the pattern of the game that we expected. An important touch from Abidal. And Valdez flicks it round the post for a corner. Interestingly, Barcelona don't bring everybody back. They've left three out of the penalty area here. And as Ramos climbs high, leading with the arms. I think Barcelona are having far too easy possession in the attacking third of the pitch, though, and something that Jose Mourinho should be concerned about. But when they break on the counter-attack, 
Likes of Ronaldo, Di Maria, Benzema, Mesut Ozil. They do look a threat. David Villa. To Abidal. Never available, Chabi. Iniesta. Make it to the two rivals for the world and European player of the year. This man, Lionel Messi, thinks that uh, one of the Spanish World Cup winners will get it this year. Well, they're stretching the Real Madrid back four, Rob, and they're trying to open up a gap between Carvalho and Pepe. And they've had so many chances now, and they're really trying to do it, trying to put that little through ball through between the, the two centre forwards for an angle run from an attacking player. I'm sure that Sonic Guardiola has looked at, studied in his preparations to play against Real Madrid. Just a point separating the two teams. Real Madrid unbeaten under Jose Mourinho. Barcelona a point behind them. They've won their last six league games in a row. They've scored at least three goals in their last five matches. They are the entertainers. There's the biggest of the lot, Little Messi. Busquets. Iniesta. Must be said, Real Madrid seemed content to allow Barcelona possession of the ball. They will have come here with a plan. Despite that early goal, they'll be intent on sticking to it. Always knew there'd be a, an early bluster from Barca. Busquets. He's got the place in midfield tonight ahead of Mascarano. They've been sharing duties. Clearly, he's ahead in the pecking order of the Argentinian national captain. I think he fully understands that role, Robert playing in front of Puyol Pique. Drops in an awful lot as well and plays between the two central defenders when both of the Barcelona fullbacks push on an attack. He's got a good understanding of the game, a player only 22 years of age. <laughs> in the Est, every Barcelona pass being greeted by an Ole. Messi. Any player who likes to take more than one touch. Pedro. It was a foul off the ball by Marcelo, acknowledged by the referee. Barca continue through David Villa, toe to toe with Ramos. Gets the cross in, to the Barcelona, the flying Pedro! <laughs> Jose's not smiling now. Well, you have to just admire that football there, it was Olay after Olay. But 25 passes. And again, Real Madrid didn't make a tackle. They've got to get more physical. They've got to confront the blue and red shirts of Barcelona. They're getting back in position, getting back behind the ball. But it's far too easy for Barcelona in the attacking third of the pitch. They're stretching the Real Madrid back four. They're getting runners from deep, runners from wide positions. Real Madrid just can't cope at the moment. You see the ball switched out wide to David Villa. He's taking on Ramos. He's only going to try and get to the byline, drive it across the six-yard box. And Pedro, great play from the opposite winger, comes in field, cuts inside, and he's there on hand to tap him from just a yard out. Well, they need a quick response here, Real Madrid. They may get it from Ozil, who tries a backflip. That will not go down well with the Madristas. Their team losing 2-0, less than 20 minutes gone. Busquets to Iniesta. Oh, great ball through. Ooh, it's good and offside. That was a reflex reaction from the referee's assistant, accepted by David Mir. I have to say, Rob, the football watch at the moment is absolutely <laughs> immense. <laughs> We're watching a really special team here. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yep. And again, uh, too much time for the Barcelona midfield players to try and find the pass, and they can find the pass, by the way. Time for Real 
Kendrick to dig deep. Come out of their defensive shells. They, they've got to change their style of play now. It's interesting what about putting the body language on the touchline. Guardiola's making every tackle, contesting every decision. Mourinho stands there, silent, hands in pocket. Attempts, five attempts at goal so far for Barcelona, just the one for Real Madrid. The important start is top left hand corner of the screen. 2 0 Barca. Clever with this guy's pass by Xavi Alonso to Benzema. Would love to establish himself tonight. Benzema with a cross, comes shot. I think he's crossing this towards the far post, Rob. He did well to work himself some space, nice and bright from the set piece. There's a trouble to Barcelona defence there. But psychologically, with Barca having won the last four Clásicos, going ahead so early, 1-0, now 2-0. We know there's four debutants tonight for Real Madrid in the Clásico matches. But there's enough players here that have been on the receiving end of this, those last four defeats. Mentally, they're going to find it hard to find a way back. Barcelona absolutely dominant at the moment. Messi, Pepe stretches again. Ball finds, balls kindly to Iniesta. Scrambled away by Iker Casillas. Real Madrid are rattled. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it's quite fitting that it's Xavi and Pedro who scored the goals. Xavi for so many years, the unsung hero here. Pedro, who scored 23 goals last year, always scores in the big events, scored in every competition that he played in for Barca last season, and he doesn't get the plaudits. Now we have an off-the-ball incident here, the referee's had to stop play in the centre circle. And there's a bit of a brawl going on. We thought there would be an edge for the game, but there's been one or two tackles. But nothing untoward as yet. I'm certainly sure that not only Jose Marina, but the Real Madrid players will start to get frustrated. Show of petulance from Cristiano Ronaldo and his fellow countryman Mourinho also moaning. Abidal. Oh, look at this football, it's sublime. And they're not just siding apart any team, they're siding apart Real Madrid. We saw them score eight last week, didn't we, against Almeria? Two in the before the 20 minute spell in this match. As you quite rightly said, well, not against anybody. Against a Real Madrid team that are undefeated this season. Mourinho has never won as a coach. At the camp new. Pedro, scorer of the second goal. With time and thinking space. Rounds Marcelo, puts in yet another cross. And he had to be knocked out of play by Ramos. He's getting a little support. And There's really one on mighty inquest going on down there amongst the Real Madrid defenders as well. It's a really shaky back four at the moment, Rob. The full-backs can't contend with the wingers. The two central defenders are struggling to pick up forward runners coming from deep. Taken short. Well, caught napping once more. Alves flips it over the top. It's carnival football at the moment from Barca. I did wonder, Rob, before the game whether Barcelona would still have their, their massive amount of possession that they have almost against every other team. And I think Real Madrid tonight would have enjoyed a fair share of the possession, but it's no different. Barcelona are playing no different tonight than they do against any other team in the division, in the league. And Real Madrid just can't keep the ball, can't keep possession, can't mount any serious attacks to the Barcelona defence. Yeah. Blocked by Pepe, the one player who can hold his head up high at the moment. He's been overworked. Xavi Alonso. Miscontrolling. Mourinho must wish the referee would blow for half-time now so he can 
lay into his players. He has made the slight change, just Ronaldo and Miguel Di Maria swapping wings. Nothing that's changed the shape of the team. Messi. Oh, he hasn't taken a grip of the game yet. Chani. Pedro. Now oh, there's bombing ahead of him. Played the ball too early and Cavallio walks it out of defence. Kedira. Casillas is resigned to just lumping it over the halfway line. Payol, he'll have enjoyed that header against the old enemy. Ronaldo. A very poor pass from Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. <laughs> Alves, Chavi. Benzema is uh, suffering with a bit of a back injury on the halfway line. They're not going to be carrying anybody around Madrid. It's all hands to the pump at the moment. It is, and you, they're really getting the runarounds rather than as Barcelona keep possession as they did for that second goal. But they're not only keeping possession, they're playing with purpose as well. They're getting the ball forward quickly, keeping it on the ground, the movement off the ball. It's absolutely fantastic. The technique we expect from Barcelona. We've seen them do this to some lesser teams in the Champions League, Panathinaikos and Ruben Kazan and Copenhagen. But tonight, they're mesmerising Madrid. It's a mismatch at the moment, that's onside. Pedro is there before Casillas. Another scare. Well, Casillas is remonstrating with the assistant referee, but I think he needs to remonstrate with one or two of his defenders. They're just not tracking runs, they're trying to play offside. As it works on a, on a couple of occasions now, they got away with that one, but they can't keep playing in this manner at the back. They have to defend properly, track runners, and try and put a stop to the Barcelona attacking play. Well, they've had most of the possession, Barcelona, we all know that. Let's give you the statistics on that at the moment. 72% of the possession to Barca. I think we'd be generous to Real Madrid with a 28%. Yeah, they, they, they have at times been bright on the, the counter-attack. You expect because of the, the reputation of the players when you see Benzema, Ronaldo, Di Maria running with the ball, you expect something to happen. Barcelona worked so hard off the ball to win the ball back. They just enjoy having possession of the football. I don't discount any Jose Mourinho side. Well, they've been torn apart by Barcelona at the moment. I mean, taught a footballing lesson. Messi, Busquets, a backflip from Busquets. Messi, Xavi, Alves. Real Madrid legs getting very tired down there in the rain in Catalonia. Alves with a cross, Cavallo intercepts. Even Ica Casillas looks speechless. Again, it's another supply of a cross from out wide. Be it Pedro or Dani Alves on the right, David Villa or Abidal on the left. The warrior, the captain. Only his second ever appearance was against uh, Real Madrid back in '99. Came on in the 32nd minute of that match. Now a veteran of over 20 games against his old rivals. He scored a goal in the 6-2 a couple of years ago. He certainly played plenty of intent on that challenge, wasn't there? From Ronaldo. He do his utmost to make sure his team do keep the clean sheet. Have it out to PK. This game, of course, being played on a Monday night because they had elections in Catalonia yesterday. 
a result that anybody wanted to know. It was not from the elections, but the result of this Grand Classico. Will Real stay top, which is looking unlikely? Will Barcelona take over yet again? Something they tend to do every year. They just have so much trust in each other with the, with the possession of the ball, Rob, that if Xavi is marked heavily, his teammates will still pass the ball to him. Likewise with Iniesta, Pedro, David Villa. Now we Spons being put under pressure by the ball. Here we see David Villa against Ramos. He's going to drive to the byline. It's not the greatest defending from Ramos. Casillas gets a slight touch. Pedro on hand gets across the defender at the far post for the second goal for Barcelona. losing his court and he's dragged out of the situation by the referee Peraldi Gonzalez and he's managed to draw the wrath of the whole Barcelona team even Victor Valdez who's rushed 50 yards to say his bit to Cristiano Ronaldo Valdez is in danger of getting sent off here he's got absolutely berserk the goalkeeper's got no right to be in that area of the pitch, it's got nothing to do with him, he should keep out of it. Ill discipline could cost Barcelona. Remember Valdez getting into an incident with Jose Mourinho. Now this is... <laughs> That's what it's all about. Guardiola would have gone down, but he didn't want to dirty that very expensive coat. It's much ado about nothing, isn't it? But... A petulant push. He's frustrated, he's been chasing the ball around. He's, this season in particular, he's used to having possession of the ball, not having to do much, too much defensive work. But he's working hard tonight for his team to try and win the ball back. But Barcelona just knocking it around him. And the other white shirts, not just Ronaldo. And the referee flashing cards. It appears that Valdez was the first to receive a caution. And then Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, a booking for Victor Valdez. He got into a pushing match with Mourinho last year when he was an Inter Milan manager. And Cristiano Ronaldo has to watch his step now, having also been boxed. Listen, Rob, it hasn't gone well for Ronaldo and Real Madrid at the moment, but the class and quality of the player, Barcelona will find it hard to contain him for the 90 minutes. It's going to be difficult for them to come back from two goals down, but they have the individual talent to create a goal out of nothing and still can get find a way back into this game. What a busy week we have of football tomorrow night. West Ham against Manchester United. I'm sure the players of both teams will be uh, looking for motivation from this one on Sky Sports 1, HD 1 as well, 7.30 start in the Carling Cup. Rail staging a bit of a fight back here. It's a foul off the ball, free kick, and we'll have another yellow card for David Villa. It was a foul by David Villa on, on Semi Cadera. Again, another example of the work ethic for the Barcelona players. Training leg just catches Cadera. 2 0 ahead, David Villa doing more than his fair share. Chasing back, trying to win possession of the ball. Well, David Villa does have a bit of a hot head. He was sent off earlier in this season against Athletic Dorbao. Tends to get a a red card a season. Now you can't see from your pictures at home, but it's teeming down in the camp now. It will be very difficult for Valdez to handle if Ronaldo can first of all get it around that eight-man wall. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. Poises, poses, draws the wrath of the supporters and just cuts it just wide. He felt there'd been a save. He'd like to give Valdez some credit for that. And it's the free kick known as the Tomahawk, isn't it, here in Spain now? Didn't take a touch from anybody, did it? It didn't. It, it came close to touching Busquets, but it didn't. Ozil's corner is a poor one. It falls to Lionel Messi. He's been dormant for most of the first half, Messi. That's what he's at his most dangerous. Pepe tries to wrap his arm around him and can't stop him. Now there will be a yellow card. <laughs> There were extra defenders after Pepe. One would argue with Lionel Messi that it was maybe an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. But it's got to be a yellow. He's so persistent in trying to stay on his feet, isn't he? He evades tackles, they, they barge him, they knock him. He doesn't go to ground, he got wonderful balance. But the right decision from the referee there is he's clearly fouled by Pepe. Not once, but twice. It's hardly a rugby tackle, it's more a tackle, isn't it? We've had a rash. Three minutes. Four yellow cards in the space of three minutes. Now, David Veer is offside. He's falling out with the referee. Yes, it does. It gives it an edge to the game, doesn't it? They're 2 0 ahead. Damn it, Villa with a bit more concentration there. Could have beat the offside track there. Bends him up. Ball flown to Marcelo. Squeezes it to Di Maria. Puts his weight into the cross. And strong defending from Piol. Had to come out for a goal kick. Sorry, corner kick, Peel. And there's Real Madrid trying to find a way to get that player into the game, Messi Ozil. In sensational form for Real Madrid this season. We haven't seen enough of him tonight in this game. They're not getting it past the first man at the near post where their corners, Real Madrid. Pepe flies him. Got tackled by him. And Hel Di Maria. Di Maria's cross. There's a spare man at the far post, but Abidal rises high. Vera kicks it to safety. Well, this is the Grand Clasico. El Derby, they call it in Spain. That's the Midlands Derby. Wednesday night, Birmingham City against Aston Villa. 7.30 start. Sky Sports 1 HD1 in the Carling Cup Live. Benzema tries to thread it through. Can't be offside. It came off a pass to defender, and there's a cry for a penalty. Uh, Ronaldo, having been booked a few minutes ago, can't argue. <laughs> that smile is painted on his face. It's not a real one. He had a case, didn't he? he had a very good case. Well, I'm not so sure, Rob. I think Valdez does get a touch of the ball. And I think Ronaldo is going to ground, hoping Valdez is going to touch him on the full down. He does make contact with the goalkeeper. I think Valdez quite enjoyed wrapping his legs around Cristiano <laughs> Ronaldo after the ball had been toe poked out of play. Certainly a risk he should be taking. Messi. To Chani. Alves, disguise pass, look one way past it the other. Overconfident though. Chavi. Bus gets. Quick footed football. As we approach the final five minutes of the first half, Real Madrid are beginning to find their feet. <laughs> Pior. People of Catalonia are thriving on this. For many years they felt they were the oppressed and the Franco regime and football was the best way of expressing 
their intentions. Now their footballers are ensuring that they're ruling Spain. Marcelo, Di Maria, just nothing is working for Real Madrid. Well, we've got to stick with it. Just wondering whether Jose Marino rules the decision not to play the extra midfield player. Lionel Messi gets into his stride and lets off one of his little sticks of dynamite. It's nine consecutive games he's scored goals in. He's had a couple of decent attempts tonight. Again, working his magic. Predominantly, all the foot there. Gets the shot in from distance, can't hit the target on this occasion. Look at the balance and the skill, the touch. Bends him up. Drifts inside. This is Ozil. Marcelo. Xavi Alonso hardly had a touch of the ball tonight. It's been Xavi, not Xavi. He's been dictating the pace of the play. Alves. You mustn't forget, Rob, this Real Madrid team is, is very new to be. The amount of money they've spent in the last two years in pursuit of this Barcelona team it makes the class go bigger and bigger every season. But young players, as you said, four debutants in the team this year, new signings, a whole host of new signings last year. You're going to have to stick with it, it's a young team, as Jose Marina said, not experienced. Messi has stolen the ball, he doesn't have support, he might have to go solo. He's drawn Pepe, but what a brilliant tackle that was by Pepe. It's a daunting prospect there for Pepe, wasn't it? One against one against Lionel Messi. But he stood up well, timed his tackle to perfection. Three minutes remain. In the first half, Rowan Ricker score a goal now, it certainly changed the mindset. Ronaldo fighting off Alves, gets the cross in, but there's a second defender there in the shape of PK. And you see Messi stole the ball off of Ramos, it's bearing down on goal. Time to perfection the challenge for Pepe there. But it had to be. Ozil's corner, Riba away is the cry from Valdez. Alonso. Ozil volleys the ball into the area. Piol intercepts. There's an offside anyway. That is here, then and again, threatening that rather high line of Real Madrid defence, holding, running from deep. Di Maria works his way through, he just hasn't been able to get into the flow of things. The referee telling him to get onto his feet as well. Cristiano Ronaldo. No. <laughs> Is at best speculative. It was quite interesting before the game, Terry, because Mourinho was saying that he wasn't too happy with the appointment of Vitor Aldi Gonzalez. Guardiola was very happy, ever the statesman. But it's something that the referee could be blamed for this Real Madrid performance. Oh, Messi goes down off the ball there. Now, he's not one to take a dive, but there was a connection with Cavallo. And this is a big call for the referee. I'm not sure why Cavallo got involved with Messi. He made a good tackle. It wasn't a dive for Messi. It was a fair challenge from Cavallo, who then accused Messi of diving. 
Well, the referee is telling Messi to get onto his feet. And he shows the yellow card to the Barcelona man. Now, Messi has accepted it. You can see the initial challenge from Carvalho. It's a good challenge. No complaints from Messi. But Carvalho was remonstrating the referee that Messi had dived. There's an elbow there from Carvalho. Might not have been the most forceful elbow, but it was an elbow. And I think Carvalho can count himself fortunate. The referee didn't see... I don't think he's seen that, Rob. Did he see Messi go to ground? And he's guessed. The thing is, Terry, from the first angle, it looked nothing. From the second angle, it did look like a forearm or back arm across his face, didn't it? And Messi got booked. <laughs> well, he did rather play act. And it's not in Messi's makeup to go down like that either. Iniesta. Via waits for the pass. That's a poor pass by Iniesta. I think the passing in the latter stages of the first half, the quality has just gone down slightly from, from Barcelona. They've got opportunities to play, attacking players in. Perhaps the weight of the pass hasn't been right, the accuracy of the pass hasn't been right. But there's still plenty left in this game, Rob. Real Madrid certainly not out, but it's going to be difficult. Last side to Xabi Alonso. It's the creative department of Real Madrid, which has been very shy in the opening 46 and a half minutes of this game. Iniesta. David Villa. Back to Piol. I remember that Barcelona went 21 years without defeat against Real Madrid at the Camp Nou. They've won the last two here, and they're in a very good position in the first half. Well, it's living up to the expectations, the most eagerly anticipated game of football in Europe. It's Barcelona who are bossing it. Shows a petulance. One goal can completely change this match, change the mentality of the team in white shirts, but can Barcelona dominate possession again, as they did in their first 30 minutes, with devastating effect. Well, Barcelona have bossed the first half. They've had the steamroller effect on Real Madrid, who've been chasing around. A lot of petulant little arguments going on. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of five players on there. Final warning, having been cautioned. This is the game that's had everything. Been played on a freezing cold November's night here in Catalonia. Well, Jose Mourinho has pulled off some great victories in the past. Tonight he needs to pull off a great recovery. It would be a hell of a turnaround if they can get back into the game. As I said, 2-0 can be a dangerous lead. You don't want to be complacent if Real Madrid get the next goal. I don't believe they can get back and get the equaliser. I'm sure Guardiola has been telling his players at half-time to keep a calm head. That's what they did so well in the first 30 minutes. They didn't get wrapped up in the occasion. They played their football as they do against any other team. And they certainly got the, the end result for them. Messi. To Alves, flip over the top, David Villa. For the umpteenth time, it seems tonight has gone a fraction too early. If you can just be a bit more selective on those, on the timing of the runs forward from David Villa. There's a big gap between the defenders there. He's clearly offside, Pedro as well. Ronaldo plays it short to Benzema. Marcelo attacks for the first time in the game. Marcelo. Half blocked by Alves, and now Pita chests it back in his own six-yard box to Valdez, which maybe illustrates the confidence flowing through the Barcelona veins. Yep, they can be confident, but they mustn't be complacent. 
Well, they would have urged these players, and I'm sure Carlos Puyol as well would have do everything in their power to keep a clean sheet. Don't let Real Madrid back in it. Yes. Lionel Messi taking on all comers right across the 18 yard box. Loose ball in the area. Pepe flies in. Comes to David Villa. Tremendous stop. Real Madrid having to throw bodies in the way as Barcelona continue in the second half. Well, they started in the first. Oh, there, there was a, a push in there, apparently. The referee has given a free kick to Real Madrid. Mighty relief in the capital. I think it's Pedro throwing his weight around in the 18-yard box there. The reason why that goal was disallowed. <laughs> Superb run for Messi. Iniesta runs out of space. He's got a free kick there of Kedira. He stays in the obvious one to say that. I think Messi carries the goal threat. You see Pedro there just leaning in towards Pepe. to Chabby. They shuffle the ball around at breakneck speed. Messi, little pirouette. Chabby. An overcooked cross. Well, they are great, but they're also human as well, Barcelona. Yeah, and the reason they had success in the first half, when they got in those wide positions, they drove to the byline. They cut really good crosses right across the six-yard box as for the Pedro's goal the second goal for Barcelona they have to try and do that they can't just sling high crosses into the box Carvalho and Pepe will win those easily the ball is played toward David Villa Barcelona very sportingly slowed the play down there because Asana Diara appeared to have fallen heavily on his arm now they quicken the pace and here is Diara the warrior who's been sent on for the second half. Oh, that was the hand injury, and that was the apology from Chavi. Messi playing a more central role in the second half. That's allowing Marcelo to break free. Little that Jose, May, Jose Mourinho can do if his players can't pass over 12 yards. It was a good opportunity for them on the little bit of a counter attack there. Sure, Lasana Diaro will try and stiffen things up in midfield. In five minutes of this half, he's been shadowing Chabby in particular. <laughs> it's not an easy task, is it? Abida. Iniesta, Asana Diara clatters into him. Kedira, Pepe. It's a few white shirts out there who appear to be in hiding. I said, well, it's meant to be it's tough when you, you haven't had much possession. They've been used to. Alonso flies into his old friend, Sergi Busquets, of course, World Cup winning colleagues. And they had a big handshake and a pat on the back as they came out for the game before, but uh, old pal Zach's have forgotten as Alonso leaves his mark on his old mate. Well, by rights, Rob, they should be playing 20 yards apart. They should never be near making a tackle against each other. Both anchor in their midfield, in front of their back four. And Shabby Alonso trying to stimulate his teammates, trying to ensure that they don't give up, that they still have that belief they can get back into the game. The sixth yellow card of the game. Alves to Pedro. Chabi. Lionel Messi. Head down, drawing defenders, threading it through to Chabi. Good save. That's the side of the net and not. The back of the net, that would have been good night, Real Madrid. You know, well, when they were making that run across midfield there, there was three or four different options on that Barcelona could have used. You know, sometimes you know those positions, you're looking for one option. And yes, there was here wide on the left, Messi's running through there, 
He spots Xavi again, making that forward run mid from midfield. With two opportunities, can't get the third goal, which will kill the game off. As I said, that replay, Kadira is trying a crazy shot from the touchline. A special one is a beaten one at the moment. Yep, but not finished yet. As I said, Roberts, you can't outright Real Madrid off with players like Ronaldo and, and Xabi Alonso. They have too much pride, too much ability to give up. They know one goal can get them back in the game. The mood of the game can change dramatically if Real Madrid get the next goal. I'm sure that's something that Guardiola has impressed upon his players during the break. As you said, Terry, in the first half, no room for complacency because you will be punished, even though Real Madrid are a little off-colour tonight. Just takes a second to inch their way back into the game. Messi there with a through ball to Xavi. Just couldn't get the angle right in the finish. Hits it into the side netting. Mourinho must be finding this difficult. It's not been often in the last, what, 10 years that he's been on the receiving end of a team that's dominated possession, that's creating chances, giving his defenders a real run around. Marcelo to Diallo. He runs into trouble. Xavi. Benzema wins it back. DR has been a busy boy since coming on. Alonso. But Alves can't steady. Abidal. <laughs> Busquets back. A little bit after, but a handshake between Diara and Sergi Busquets. Xavi. Busquets to Iniesta, the Spanish World Cup midfield. Here's the man who won the World Cup, Iniesta, threading it through Marcelo, had to stretch. Pedro would have been onside. Marcelo hits it long, they're just not finding Cristiano Ronaldo. Alves. He has gone too early again, so he has to hold his pass. Now Messi. Drifting, driving. David Villa. It's a great partnership from, that's really bottling now from Lionel Messi and Danny Villa. And again, far too much time afforded to the, the Barcelona attacking players without Real Madrid closing them down. Very line, weren't they, again, on trying to use an offside trap. But David Villa had time to run across the line, hold his run right to the perfect moment. Arguing Real Madrid that Villa was leaning offside. And still arguing that he was offside. He wasn't waiting around. No, nope, I'm in the I'm fully in the strikers' union. And I think it's a the benefit should go to the attacking player. Wonderful first touch to take it away from the defender. Head down, gets the technique right, drives it towards the far post. Goal scorer's instinct, top top striker. Well, the casualty of that move was Pedro Rodriguez, who's been receiving treatment since the goal was scored. Ike Casillas, I believe, has been cautioned for his argument with the referee afterwards. Yellow card for the Real Madrid captain. <laughs> so, we'll make that now. Seven bookings. Both goalkeepers have been booked. It's that kind of game. Cristiano Ronaldo puts in the cross. Benzema came early. Alves, aware of his bearings, just helps it out. See the frustration there on Ica Casillas. Last line been absolutely awesome tonight. Wonderful in possession. As you said, they, we, we mentioned earlier, they got eight goals last week against Dan Maria, but this is three stunning goals against Real Madrid, unbeaten this season. Benzema. 
to Lassana Dr. One back by Chami. Now Busquets, referee does well, keeps it moving. He's moving very smoothly with Lionel Messi. Messi inside, Veer, brilliant run by Veer, can he finish it off? He can! It's four to Barcelona! Where did the goal stop? This official now, Robinson, turn it into a round. They just love that pass inside the fullback. The easy option is to give it to the white player's feet and let him run at the defender. But they're so aware that the, the white players will look to run across and get the pass, receive the pass inside the fullback. Essentially, then it becomes a one on one versus the goalkeeper, and David Beard doesn't miss. A superb goal. This team are really, really special. Now they look up to the heavens, Real Madrid. Gobsmacked. Where will it stop? Humiliation for Jose Mourinho and his troops. You see that wonderful pass from Messi, but it's, it's the angle of the pass, it's the movement of David Villa. And of course, let's not forget the finish. Outside of the right foot, underneath the advancing Casillas. Drops his shoulder, drinks, drinks past two defenders. Hold on, there's a back pass there, and Ica Casillas has to come off his line. And Messi is given offside. It's Sunday league defending from Real Madrid. It is, Rob, they're on the ropes. They're, this season they've dominated all the games they've played in. And I must admit, I haven't been convinced this season about Real Madrid. I was waiting for a real big test. This was their test tonight. And at the moment, you have to say they're failing it miserably. Well, Mourinho is going to bring on an extra defender in Arbeloa. It's damage limitation for Real Madrid. They've lost their shape, they've lost their will. Certainly, they've lost their motivation. Marcelo, look at the tackle from Piot. He enjoyed that, but he's actually injured himself in the doing. Yep, he'll still be giving 100% in every challenge, every tackle. Make sure he's tracking forward runs from white shirts to make sure his team keep that clean sheet. He won't be complacent. He leads by example. Super captain. Well, time for change. Interestingly, it's Marcelo, the left-back, who's going off going to be Arbeloa who's coming on. Is that a reflection on Marcelo's performance? It's probably something Marcelo's, Marcelo's done in the last five minutes, Rob. And it looks like a reaction to the two goals that have just gone in. Or not done. There have been two goals in the last five minutes. Alonso steps over the ball. Long hopeful shot. Galvez watches it go wide. As we mentioned earlier, Rob, this is a young Real Madrid team. A lot of players in their, their early 20s. But they do have some catching up to do against Barcelona. And it's been a long time since Jose Mourinho, man manager of Porto, Chelsea, into Milan. It's been success all along the way. It's been a long time since he's been suffering, like most managers do, from time to time in a game like this. Lionel Messi. Drives inside again. And the referee brings it back for the first of a succession of fouls on the little Argentinian. Busquets. Chavi. David Villa. Looking for a hat trick in his Classico debut. The last time. And Barcelona managed to score four goals against Real Madrid at the Camp Nou. It was the 93 94 season, and Romario scored a hat trick that night. Villa's got plenty of time to do it, he's got the motivation to go on and do it. The result is not going to be in doubt, but it's a, whether Barcelona really want to turn on the style, go on and score more goals. Busquets. Chavi, the hat trick hunting David Villa. Abidal. We have to put into context what a great performance this is from Barcelona. What a great team we're watching. Players at the peak of their power. Real Madrid have lost only one of their last 36 matches. That was against Barcelona. The last time they were beaten 
it was against Barcelona. They had record stats last year, Real Madrid. Record number of points, the best ever away wins, the most ever away goals. But they were still second best to Barcelona. And then Will Pellegrini was a casualty due to that so close last season. And I think he did well last year, Pellegrini. I think we have to acknowledge that Barcelona and streets ahead of Real Madrid at the moment. They scored eight against Almeria. They're looking for their fifth as Messi miscontrols, allowing Pepe a sight of the ball. Slides it into the ground. That's to their amusement. I think, in fairness to Pepe, I think he's had a decent game tonight, Pedro, with a back heel. Pepe's made some telling challenges. He's been aggressive when it's been... The need has been there to be aggressive. Too many of his teammates, I think in defence tonight, have really struggled against the movement of Swift passing at Barcelona. Messi's coming in for some rough treatment. <laughs> Not the worst tackle he's going to enjoy tonight. Free kick taken too quickly as the referee asks Arbola to remove some jewellery, I believe. He's a brave man leaving it on that touchline. <laughs> He's just taken his wedding ring off and left it on the touchline for the referee's assistant to dance over. Abidal. Chad. The Olays have started again. It is a bit like watching a ball fight at the moment. Barcelona, the Matadors. Real Madrid. The wary ball. Busquets tries the shot from the halfway line, and Casillas had to watch that all of the way. They're trying to humiliate them. Yep, that would have offended Casillas, and he didn't want to look as if he was trying too hard. At the last second, perhaps he thought he'd better make the... a save, at least try and make the effort. But he wouldn't have been too pleased with that from Sergio Busquets. Busquets would have been taking the biscuit. <laughs> Iniesta holds off Cadera, leaves Xavi Alonso on the floor. Now it's shuffled to Villa, to Iniesta again. PK. Incredible football. It is just a masterclass. Some might say they were able to do this at 4 0 up, but they did it at 0 0, Rob. That's the reason they got those two goals in the first half possession play. The second goal was memorable. The percentage of possession in the first half again in the 70%, 72% at one stage. Means they've only got to defend for 28% of the game. And that's where Real Madrid has struggled tonight. They haven't had the ball. They haven't been able to supply Ronaldo. Benzema, Higuain has been a miss for Real Madrid, it has to be said. You can see more goals coming for Barcelona. Well, all of the scorers for Barcelona are Spanish players. Xavi, Pedro, Villa. Real Madrid have invested so heavily over the last couple of years. 81 million last summer, the summer before that, about 260 million, we're talking Euros. It's pretty much one for one at the moment, Euros and pounds. Eight of this Barcelona team have come through the club's La Masia, the academy system at the club. Born and bred Barcelona players through their teams. They've learned to play football very much the Cruyff way. Guardiola was a, a disciple of Cruyff. What a legacy it is. I think it could be argued they are now better than the dream team. Just watching the back four of Real Madrid, they're trying to play off self-trap. 
all in different positions of the pitch. Abidal to Xavi. Just holds off, waiting for the right pass, the safe pass. Abidal to Iniesta, now they quicken the pace. Lionel Messi. Abidal to Messi. To Xavi. You're lost for words. It's hard not to repeat yourself for the wonderment of the football. It's hard not to be critical of Real Madrid. But they're just sparring partners at the moment, aren't they? It is, and it's all one touch and two touch stuff. Moving it off the ball, playing little triangles between two and three players. You're caught in the middle of a little triangle between Xavi and Yesta and Messi. You've got no chance. Yeah. But it's great pressure, Rob. That's what forced Real Madrid into giving away possession again. 4 0 up Barcelona. As soon as they lost it, three or four players all worked hard to try and put Real Madrid player under pressure and force them to give the ball back to them. Barcelona has scored 17 goals in their last four home games. 12 goals in the last two La Liga matches. Messi, little back flick from Dani Alves, the number two, the right back who's currently playing centre forward. Yeah, he's getting busy now. Robert Fournier up, he wants to get on the goal sheet. And it certainly wouldn't be unusual for him. Real player high line, Barca go back to go forwards. Navidad. They make it look so simple. Control, pass, back flick, pass. <laughs> it's frighteningly good. I defy anybody apart from a Real Madrid supporter not to enjoy watching this Barcelona team play the way they do tonight. Yeah, they're enjoying it because they've, they've done the hard work. They're in a, a, a commanding, a winning position. Our words are supposed to complement the pictures. It's impossible to complement the way Barcelona are playing. Arbla oh, to Benzema. Ronaldo game frustratingly doesn't get a pass at the ball. Busquets. Villa lets it go, a little body swerve. Abidal to Villa. Villa continues. He wants his name in lights, he wants to write his own piece of history and get his hat-trick through to Messi. He did get a hat-trick, of course, in his first ever Clasico. Iniesta. Chavi. Real Madrid unwittingly, unwillingly, chasing the shadows that are cast by... Barcelona, and they're going to be in their shadows as well. Barcelona are going to take control of La Liga again. Be a two-point lead, but it's a gulf between the teams. The home supporters really enjoying the, the possession. Cavallio, handball. He's got to go. He goes from bad to worse to ridiculous for Real Madrid. Well, has he not just denied an obvious goal-scoring opportunity? Look, 4 new up, perhaps the referee's been lenient. Barcelona players not protesting too much. He was fortunate to get away with that slight elbow towards the face of Messi in the first half. Yes, it is a goal-scoring opportunity. It's a deliberate handball. It is, he misjudges the, the bounce of the ball, puts his arm out to stop it, Pedro was in on goal. It had been 1-0 or 0-0, I think you would see more protests from Barcelona players. Well, Barca probably show some professional sympathy to Cavalier goes flying in with the tackle there, but I think under any other circumstances, that had to be a red card tonight. Yeah. He's found it particularly difficult tonight, hasn't his team? So far this season, Rob, Real Madrid haven't had to defend. They haven't played the Sevillas and the Valencias and the Villarreals. This, for me, tonight was their real big first test. I wanted to see how they did defensively. 
and they've struggled tonight, it has to be said. And neither are up against the elite of world-class players. But they don't look organised at the back, their offside trap hasn't worked. Ronaldo. Get in. And he's... Oh, that was a, a rash challenge from Ramos. One of those, I think, a little worse than it actually was. Ramos goes over to his Spanish international teammate, David Villa, and that's a favour of Massim to get straight back up onto his feet to prevent the caution, which is going to come his way. It's not, it's not a disappointing to see Puyol tear across there and try to get his Spanish teammate in trouble, although he's protecting his Barcelona teammate, David Villa. It's not the worst tackle Ramos has ever made. Not a kick out of it, that's the ninth yellow card of the evening. I'm going to ask Jerry Armstrong, who's sitting alongside me, to translate. I wonder if they're singing, you're going to get sacked in the morning, Jose Mourinho. <laughs> and they had to put the sprinklers on, didn't they, at the end of the, the Inter Milan game last season to dampen down the celebrations of Jose Mourinho. I bet he wished he could have put them on tonight after about 20 minutes to try and stop the Barcelona attack. His defence haven't been up to it. Xavi to Iniesta. Abidal. Veers misplaced pass. Alonso. Finds Ronaldo. Passed one, but what pass plus gets? Alves breaks. Perfectly timed. Lionel Messi into his little stride. Blocked by Lasana Diana. Little delayed fall there from Lionel Messi. Ball is well won by Alves. The referee tells him to continue playing. You've got possession. It's a lunge from Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a lunge from. Padera as well, that would have been the 10th yellow card of the evening. I'm pretty sure Rob would not be up with 22 players on the pitch. And this is a good tackle initially from the side, the old him bumped over by Arbeloa. <laughs> and Kadira with a late challenge on Andrews in Yester. Probably the closest he's got to the, the Barcelona midfield player all night. Kadira may have to go off the field of play as well because he's got a bloodstained shirt. The referee having a little look at the, the nick on his shoulder blade. I'm just going to let him carry on for now. Imagine he could be sweating blood, the amount of running he's done tonight. Chasing the ball, and it's so difficult for the Real Madrid players. Been used to being on top all season. Right from the first minute, Barcelona kept possession. Said he's an, another young player, Kadira. Mr. Azil, only 22. Kadira, 23. Benzema's only 22 years of age. Rob Angel Di Maria, 22 years of age. So it's a young team, and Pat Jose needs a little bit of patience. And you see the thing like Pep Guardiola. Kept it low key this week, wanted his team to do the talking on the pitch. They've done exactly that. Well, David Beer isn't going to get his hat trick tonight, but he gets a standing ovation from 97,000 Barcelona supporters. And joining the party is young Bojan. Maybe they're just protecting David Beer for a flurry of games coming up. It's been a big night for David Beer, Rob. Slightly overshadowed by Lionel Messi this season. Got to get two goals in your first Classico. Bojan's on the move, he's onside, here's his first touch, his second touch he can't make, Pepe stops him in his strike. Good defending by Pepe, had to have massive powers of recovery then. He didn't give it up, it looked like Bojan lost his footing, didn't it? He was stumbling as he was on the run forward. Four marks again to Pepe, sticking to the task. Messi, lovely touch, Bojan. Now he's got his chance. Tremendous save from Ike Casillas. 
keeping some pride for Real Madrid. Some of the Real Madrid defenders are well below there, in particular. Gone missing, left his post completely. Misses, misses on a drought, 77 minutes. <laughs> There's another off the ball incident there, but it uh, actually was preceded by an offside against Pedro. Sloppy bit of defending has allowed Messi away here. Messi drives inside, twists and turns, but takes on one defender too many. Yeah, that's bad defending from Arbeloa. Helping out his teammate, Calvary, teammate Calvario. And a foot from Kadira, who kicks the ball away. Be a lot of players inspired by this Barcelona go to Osasuna on Saturday night, seven o'clock on Sky Sports One up in Pamplona. They'll be fearing playing them, and Jose Mourinho has to restore his team's confidence for Valencia on Saturday night, nine o'clock on Sky Sports HD One as well. Ramos to Diarra. Benzema. Ronaldo makes a move. Ronaldo gets the pass. He's shadowed by Piola. He's just waiting for the right moment to make the tackle. Sheer jubilation from the Barcelona players. Right from the first minute, they brought their A-game into this game tonight. Frustration for Real Madrid. They've tried to keep going, but really, really difficult for them. We've seen how much work they've got to do now to try and catch up with, with Barcelona. Back-to-back -back titles. It's been a fifth Clasico on the trot that Barcelona are going to win. Carrera. That's it, back off Ronaldo. Little back flick from Benzema. Alves wins the tackle. They're still making the tackles, Barcelona, and trying to prevent Real Madrid getting a consolation goal. Alves gets his body in the way. Benzema was taken down on the edge of the area, and that may be yet another caution. It is. It's Payol who's in the book now. Yeah, it's a late challenge, Rob. Hefty old challenge referee. Tried to play the advantage. You see, it's late, it's dangerous. Up. It was the head of PK that was the bravest. Xavi. Messi to Bojan. Pedro. Another player from the Cantera, the Academy. Barcelona there with Bojan adding to the numbers. That's nine then, isn't it? Nine of the 11 out there that come through the Barcelona system. Something like this man, PK, went away and then came back again. That's why this team of Barcelona's hasn't been built overnight. And Real Madrid are going to have to show patience. They've bought good players at the good age. Ronaldo. Ramos to Di Maria. Overhit the cross. They just can't get out of Barcelona quick enough, Real Madrid. They've got another eight and a half minutes to endure. And Di Maria's been in, in really good form. Shown really good potential that he's going to be a good sign in. I'm sure he will, as I said, they're at a good age. Jose Marino's going to have to be patient. The Real Madrid president's going to have to be patient. 
So it could take some considerable while now for Real Madrid to catch Barcelona. Well, that is some image, isn't it? The captain of Spain, arms folded, wishing he was somewhere else. And it hasn't been a pleasant evening for him. And of course, this win will take Barcelona back to the top of the table. The last three occasions these sides have played, Real Madrid have been ahead of Barcelona in the standings. Barcelona have taken over, taken control. And of course, the last two seasons gone on to win. La Liga. It'll be five successes in a row for Barcelona, home and away against Real Madrid. Xavi, Alves. Here they go again. Busquets. Four out of the five of those, Rob. They haven't scored. Real Madrid as well. Iniesta, Pedro, Alves. He can see a waste no time, he clears his lines, but he's given it away to Carlos Piol, the opposing captain. Abidal. Oh, when they hit Almeria for eight. A record away win in the last La Liga game. Pep Guardiola looks rather embarrassed because he uh, must have thought about holding back. It was one of his old pals that was suffering. There's no holding back tonight. Can't exactly call Jose Mourinho an enemy, but he is his most bitter rival. I think that's fair. Analysis, Rob, of the situation between the two. Healthy respect. And they certainly don't want, do, don't want to get beaten by each other. goes flying in. He's known around here as the man from the mountains, or Tarzan. There's another off-the-ball incident for the referee to adjudicate, involving our below that. Away goes Alves. Pepe. It's probably been man of the match for Barcelona. At least Jose Mourinho tonight is find out who his warriors are. I still think there's an admission of his mistake in not playing the son of Diara from the start of the game and Gonzalo Higuain was ruled out for injury. I really did think they could, do, could have done with the extra midfield player. Siapolo and there again with a foul on Pedro. As it was neither midfield nor in attack, it was probably a luxury that Real Madrid couldn't afford tonight here at the Camp Nou. Awkward twist of the leg for Pedro. I think there's... Such a cramp there as well, the physio has been told to stay on the sidelines. Now well, it's the derby debut for the new Barcelona president on the, uh, the left-hand side there, Sandro Rossell. He likes what he's seen. Florentino Perez. Uh, stuck behind Jose Mourinho, who has said since the early days of his tenure that it is a working progress. He's not quite back to the drawing board for Real Madrid, but they have an indication of how far to go before they catch up with Barcelona. Yep, and it, also, Rob, this is not tonight the end of the, the, the league championship as we saw last season. You know, it was defined over those two games. There's still 25 games to go in the league for both of these teams to play. I'm sure Barcelona will have nights where it, it doesn't all go to, according to plan. And I shut up on purpose there, Rob, to allow people at home to hear the ovation, the adulation for Xavi. Wonderful goal, the supreme maestro, the grandmaster of midfield players. Well, the whole stadium acknowledges another immaculate performance from Xavi. Beta gets a taste of the glory for about three and a half minutes. Adriano, the Brazilian, will come on also 
for his Clasico debut, taking the place of another one of the scorers, Pedro. See again, smart management by Guardiola. He's taken off all of his scorers tonight and allowed them to receive the acknowledgement of the adoring Catalan public. But he'll be back to work as usual for Barcelona and Pep Guardiola. He knows that's a difficult game at the weekend. Bojan draws Ramos, then lost his own footing and gets a ticking off from the referee. Well, no league is ever won or lost in November, but it's on this day in November last year that Barcelona beat Real Madrid, and then for Real, for the rest of the season, it was catch-up. When it came to the final count on the final day, Real Madrid were three points behind Barcelona. Of course, in Spain, I'm sure you all are aware now that if the teams finish level on points at the end of the season, and it goes on the head-to-heads between the two teams. Di Maria. Cristiano Ronaldo, cue the balls, chased to the corner flag by Pior. He'll be having nightmares about Carlos Pior tonight. Look at coming out from behind the curtains. <laughs> he's, he's found it really difficult to play against Barcelona, whether it's for Manchester United or now Real Madrid. It's three games, and I have to say, Rob, in the second half, we barely mentioned him. Never a game goes by, does it, where we, we don't, we're not constantly talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. But had no supply, hasn't been in the game, he's had no impact on the game whatsoever. Probably a long-range effort from a free kick, was he some total? Mentally, it's going to be a problem for him, but he's got the character to overcome it. I've seen his classes, along with Messi, the, the two best players in the world. Neither of them scored tonight, it's the David Villa, it's Xavi, it's Pedro. Keita. Now down, down the touchline. It's a great early cross from Adriano. Ica Casillas. The only other time he's conceded four goals this season is for Spain against Argentina. This captain Robbie looks really cheesed off, doesn't he? I'm not sure that transmits the, the best emotional feelings possible to his teammates that are chasing the ball all night, having a hard time. I think Pepe has led by example tonight. He's kept going, it's been a, a real poor display by the back four from Real Madrid, We've relied on the offside trap, that hasn't worked. Abidal, good bullying defending on Di Maria. We did touch early on in the game that Barcelona had only one player who'd not tasted the Clasico experience before, and Real Madrid had a number of debutants in this situation, and it has told. It has, but I think, in all honesty, Rob, I think the quality has been far better. That's been the difference between the two teams. One in three minutes spell from Barcelona, absolutely brilliant. Now they're aiming for their fifth as we're into stoppage time. Bojan's cross, will it be five? Sorry, Jeffrey, the substitute has joined the party. A great goal for another one of the Barcelona boys who's come through the system. Well, look at the celebrations, Rob, of the players. The despair again of Real Madrid. Incisive attacking play en masse. Every member of the squad, the coaching department, everybody's there. Pique holding five fingers up. A 5 0 win against Real Madrid. More than the home supporters expected tonight. They expected a much more closer encounter. We can see there a beaten team from Real Madrid tonight. The youngster Jeffren breaks into the box. It's a wonderful cross. Not only is Jeffren on the end of it, another youngster, Bojan. Great cross across the face of the goal. They just can't get there first of all. I think it's Iniesta, just misses out. 
Jeffrey gets across Ramos, wraps it up 5 0. Perfect ending for Barcelona. All oh, that picture of all of the team celebrating together on the touchline will adorn the club's museum and the press room here where they've got all of the pictures of the great games over the years. Oh, and another terrible tackle from Cavallio, and it's going to end very ugly, and there's a punch down there. And it's now getting very, very nasty. Well, the referee has sent off Cavallio, and he's got a series of other spats to sort out as well. He's pushing and shoving and arguing. A yellow card to Chavi amid the melee. And the medical men are working one of the Barcelona players as well. It's Lionel Messi, who's down, who's apparently flawed. And also the referee saw that, he's seeking advice from his assistants on the talkback. Well, that was the first foul. That was Cavallio's offence. And then Messi and Piol both went to the floor. That was Messi taken down. It was Ramos who I think takes down Messi. Jorge Bosque won't be pleased to see Spanish team fighting amongst each other. Puyol, Ramos, Xavi, Pique. But it was a hefty challenge on Messi, the frustration spilling over for the, the Real Madrid players. And you see the Real Madrid captain, the Spanish captain as well, trying to keep the peace. Well, Jose Mourinho is absolutely flawed. He said last year when they lost against Barcelona, but still went through in the Champions League, that it was the most beautiful loss of his life. Tonight is certainly the ugliest loss of his life. And that picture says it all, doesn't it, for Cristiano Ronaldo? Well, amid that, Ramos was sent off. Cavallo stayed on. Guardiola looks cool as personified as he heads down the tunnel, but I'm sure as he gets into the changing room, he will whip for delight. Casillas and co can't wait to get out of this stadium quick enough. A five-goal humiliation. A famous victory for Barcelona. Five goals tonight, five wins in succession.